um, trotters are allowed to race in the half hobbles only. You will see them on the, on horses that hobbles on the front legs only, and they meet underneath the uh, underneath the horse's belly. Okay, the square gate is coming up to the gate. Oh, a couple of stragglers, they're Count Tina and Supremacy James. They're obviously going to try and get a run at the gate. Pole marker dashing dancer back a little bit. Dollar thirty for number eight Spitfire Lady. As they move towards the starting point. Trotters event here. Coming up. Eight on the front line, the outside of the front line, Spitfire Lady, and she'll run the tote favourite back a little bit inside her trunky dock. Start are about to release them, and it's galloped out. Spitfire Lady, it went for a gallop, but it is a start, and away very quickly the front line is bronze medal, Technicolor, and Sparrow Hawk. Sparrow Hawk showing good speed is going to trot its way up towards the lead when they settle down for Robinson. Sparrow Hawk takes up the lead, settling, leads out two lengths when they settle. Bronze medal second on the inside of Technicolor, and they're three lengths in front of Supremacy James up fourth at the early point, followed by Dashing Dancer. On the outside of it is Radiant Romeo when they come off the back straight. Further back, Trunky Dock was caught out wide. In front of it is Spitfire Lady as they come into the home straight over on the rail, Count Tina, and about 80 metres tailed off last of all as Hello Honey. The square gate as the trotters are spread right out as they run to the judge with two laps to go, and the leader is Sparrow Hawk. By a length and three quarters, two bronze medal second, about two lengths to Technicolor third. Fourth on the rail is Supremacy James, on the outside of it moving forward there is Radiant Romeo. Now, uh, Spitfire Lady has got a nice run on the back there of Radiant Romeo turning to the back straight. Dashing Dancer back on the rail. A length for the back count, Tina, on the outside of them trunky dock. And about a dozen lengths last of all after going a circuit in the trotters event is Hello Honey. A lap and a half to trot down the back straight. And the leader is Sparrow Hawk, about eight metres in front and second placing bronze medal. A similar margin third is Technicolor and about a length and a quarter further back Supremacy James. Then moving up is Radiant Romeo with about 1,400 metres to go. On the fence, Dashing Dancer on the outside, travelling OK now, Spitfire Lady. Two lengths further back, Countina, a length and a half to Trunky Dock and about a dozen lengths last of all to Hello Honey. This leader on its own as they wheel around that top circle, about 1,300 metres to go. Into the straight they come and Sparrow Hawk is doing it quite well in front. Square Gates beautifully up the home straight, trots out about two or four or five lengths in front. Off in second place in bronze medal. About three or four lengths further back in the field, then making a run now as Radiant Romo around the outside of Technicolor, not going well. The Spitfire Lady's going to run the fourth shortly on the back of Radiant Romeo. It's going home very well, Spitfire Lady number eight. They're followed on the rail there by Supremacy James from County to the outside. Further back in the field then as they go to that turn is Dashing Dancer followed on the outside of it by Trunky Dock and Hello Honey last of all. Sparrow Hawk cuts into the back straight. I don't know whether it can keep going though. It's Sparrow Hawk down the back with about 700 metres to go. About 8 to 10 metres in front of in second placing Radiant Romeo. But here's Spitfire Lady. She pulls to the outside and she's starting to go after the leaders quickly. Dropping out of it there, bronze medal, and there followed for the back, running on by Count Tina, going home well. Then at the head of the others is Technicolor from Trunky Dock. Sparrow Hawk is feeling the pinch in front, 400 to go. Spitfire Lady grabs it in a stride. Dropping out of it, Radiant Romeo and Count Tina running home well with the favourite Spitfire Lady. Swept to the front of the 300 metre mark and went for home. The driver looked over his shoulder. Found Count Tina coming home well and galloping there on the top circle. Is Sparrow Hawk and then further back at the head of the others would have been Trunky Dock. But in the straight and Spitfire Lady about eight metres in front. Count Tina coming after it, but the leader's got a nice break, Spitfire Lady. She's five metres in front, Count Tina trying hard. But Spitfire Lady, despite beginning badly, has won about six or eight metres. Second, Count Tina about 15 metres, third, Supremacy James. Then further back was Trunky Dock. A long way back there, Dashing Dancer, Ro Radiant to Romeo Gallat home. Hello Honey picked a couple up, and they were Technicutter. Just coming in as bronze medal, it's well out of its ground. And one of the last in is Radiant Romeo and company with Sparrow Hawk. He made the pace but carved up to run last. Into the home straight and here we see Spitfire Lady shooting clear for driver Annie Ford. Holding Countina quite safely at bay. The two mares occupying the first and second position. From a long way back into third placing is Supremacy James. But Spitfire Lady, although she got a fair way back after beginning badly, had a nice run behind Radiant Romeo and was too good in the run of the line. Number eight, Spitfire Lady first. Nine, Count Tina. Karen Dunstan in the white cap, wielding the whip at Count Tina. The driver on Spitfire Lady, content to sit there, let that mare make her own way to the winning line. And she's proved, proved too good for number nine, Count Tina. Number 11, third, Supremacy James. Eight, nine, and 11. Eight, nine, 11. 
on the 3DB stakes, race number eight on the program, the winner by Brad Hanover from Theresa Jane. A. Lovett and Cheryl M. Ford, the uh, connections, a chestnut mare, prepared by A. A. Lovett at Strathley, and driven by N. E. Ford. Racing in great form, one here at Moody Valley on the Christmas Eve, and again has delivered the goods here this afternoon. Number eight, Spitfire Lady. Number nine, Count Tina second. Count Bay from Tough Tina. Third, Supremacy James by Speed Supreme from Bella Jane. Eight, nine, and 11. The placings there, the last half mile in 64.6, and the winner will pay 130 and 70. 75 for Count Tina and Supremacy James, $1.65. Eight, eight, nine, and 11. On the eighth event on the program. Well, of the others, Dashing Dancer got a long way back. Radiant Romeo made a few mistakes. Hello, Honey was tailed off. Beat a few home on the run of the line. Bronze Medal got up into a prominent position early, but she weakened. Sparrow Hawk began fast, took up the lead, but uh, ensured a good pace in actual fact. Finished at the back of the field. And Count Tina and Spitfire later, despite the fact they got back, they did run on quite well. Now the interim toe of it ends, number eight, Spitfire Lady, 130 and 70, nine Count Tina, 75, and 11 Supremacy James, $1.65. Quinella Dividend is $2.50, Trifecta, 8, 9, 11, $17.20. $17.20 for the Trifecta, 8, 9, and 11. Winner resuming there, or returning I should say, racing in good form through October, November and December, and now into January, so she's been holding a form <coughs> particularly well. Chestnut Mare, she really stayed very, very well on the run of the line. Count Tina, she didn't give up. She continued to make good ground on the, uh, the leader, Spitfire Lady, from the home turn on. And 11 Supremacy James, driven by Ron Hall, in the third placing, 8, 9, and 11. New record, the mile rate is 26.4. 26.4, the mile rate. And uh, that is a new record. Now, the runners for this uh, series we're talking about earlier in the day, this is the... Uh, Southern Cross Saddle Pace Relay.